Hey guys, just a heads up, uh, you might have noticed about halfway through my the last video that my varmint rifle kind of changed form. Well, that's because I took a quick detour and got a better version, but uh, wound up cutting that footage for time. But I did save it, and so I wanted to share it with you because it's fun to watch. Anyway, here's the cut footage. We're actually going to take a little detour on our tour of Legion Destruction. And head for this cave over here. And textures seem to have gone low res for for a little bit. Sup, dude? The NC the NCR took back Nelson. Maybe they can win this war after all. How did you hear about that? The Brockflower Cave. Now Throughout my gameplay, I have been saving up mines and satchel charges for this day. Why? Because this cave is a little bit dangerous, but oh so rewarding. There are enemies in this cave. And I'll show them to you. Yeah. This cave is also a uh, wild wasteland event, but you'll see why in a second. In a bit, whenever I get around to it. I think this is as far as I want to go this way. Drop a satchel charge. Drop a satchel charge. Leave a nice long trail of them leading on my direction this way. Drop one here, the a choke point, and here, and here, and here, and you get the idea. I'm going to be mining my back trail like crazy, and I'm out of satchel charges now, which just means I switch to frag mines and double up on them. And that's out of, that's it, I'm out of choke points. So let's switch to... Hmm. I didn't make many JHPs, did I? Hold on a second. I'm gonna talk to Eddie and talk about upgrading my ammo real quick. Okay. A few, few clips should do it. Now, in this cave, though many th believe they don't exist, there are, wait for it, rodents of unusual size. And they're actually really tough. I don't like fighting them at low level. I'm actually going to down a whole bunch of sarsaparilla. Give me a little health regeneration. Uh, hit the gate at that rate. I was expecting them to to detect me a lot easier. Alright. What do I need at level 10? Okay. The perk I want at level 10? Finesse. Gives me 5 extra points of luck, so roughly 5% better critical chance on most weapons. It's not, nothing to be sneeze at. Higher on some weapons. 
was really expecting the ROUSs to detect me, because that's what usually happens. Oh well. That's more like it. Let them come. Okay, seriously, it's just not fun unless there's a string of ROUSs blowing themselves up on the mines I left behind. It's kind of disappointing, actually. Okay. Guess I get to keep my mines. Oh well. Now the reason we came into this cave, one reason and one reason only. The Rat Slayer. Now what's the Rat Slayer? It's the unique version of the of the Varmint rifle. Compared to it, compared to the normal version, it's got the ex it's got all of the upgrades, the night scope, silencer, and extended mags. It's a little bit lighter, a little bit more powerful, a little bit more accurate, and one thing that, that makes it one of the best weapons in the game, obscenely high critical chance. It has a critical multiplier of 5 compared to like a 2 on a normal one, or like, I don't know, 0.15 on the LMG. Five times critical multiplier, which means that if you're specced out for critical hits, this thing will critical on every single fire. Kind of a big deal. It's amazing early game, decent mid game, and actually has some niche use in late game. So, yeah, pick this up. Hey, wasn't that fun? Now reg back to your regularly scheduled mayhem. We're finally heading north up to Boulder City. This way. Whoops, wrong quest. We're still on Boone's quest. Heading north to Boulder City. What's gonna happen on the way? Probably ambushed by Legion assassins again. But that's for later. Yep, here they come. Oh shoot, that's a thermic lance. That, uh, that does a lot of damage and it ignores armor. I really hope it, really hope he doesn't hit me with that. Gotcha! Okay. Well, that was fun. And some raiders along the way. Hmm. Hope for a better angle here. Ah, oh, come on. Looks like just the one viper this time. There's usually about two or three there. Prospector? Mercenary. Yeah, must be following a roving trader that's one that's somewhere. Oh boy. See those red blips in the distance? Cazadores. Don't feel like going that direction. Howdy. Hey there. 
Maybe I'm gonna loot this place though. Hidden north. Just watch your step along the road here. Fire ants. There's a nest of them in the middle of that dry lake bed over there. And in the Fallout universe, fire ants are not named because th their sting hurts really bad. They're named that way because they breathe fire. Because, yeah, that makes sense. And there's the lonesome drifter. We'll be talking to him later. Probably. Yeah, we'll be talking to him later. Now, as you can see, there's a sign here that leads off to Boulder City. But... Actually, yeah, we might as well head to Boulder City first. Over there at that overpass, there's some merchants and stuff, but... Uh, We'll get to that probably next video. Ah, Boulder City. Now, it's pretty much a ruin. Even by wasteland standards, it's a ruin. The reason for that is that there was a kind of a major battle here that uh, this monument is meant to commemorate. Oh, sweet. Roving trader. Hold on a second. Hey there. Need anything? Sure. You ain't got nothing. Alright. Anyway, Boulder City. See? Alright, might as well bring up the map. Right over here is Hoover Dam. During the first battle of Hoover Dam, Caesar's Legion's forces were kind of kicking the... NCR's butt, but they had a plan. They had first recon snipers, like Boone, and a bunch of rangers up here on a ridge, and they sniped out the elite legionnaires. Knowing that the, uh, the commander, knowing that they were going to be, that he was going to be left with only the rookies, pushed the attack and drove the NCR off the bridge, and they retreated through Boulder City. The legion commander pushed the pushed the attack, trying to turn the retreat into a rout, but it was a trap. NCR had set up Boulder City full of explosives, and as soon as the Legion was inside, they blew the, the, blew the whole place up. And that's how the NCR held the, held the dam. With trickery. But hey, anything that wins is, is a victory. Now there's pretty much just a bar here. Evening. A customer. Not many people come into Boulder City these days. Alright. There is something we kind of want from here. Even though we gotta steal for it, but hey. Right back here in the back room. Lever action shotgun. Because it's the best shotgun we've got right now. I mean, there's the sawed off, but uh, that's not quite the same. For all of your T-800 cosplaying needs. T-800 Terminator, I mean. It's pretty good. Even better if you've got the... If you've got the, uh... Cowboy perk and you can... Which gives it a 25% damage boost. Not the best by any means, but... If you're... If you like shotguns, might as well pick it up while you got the chance. Now the reason we're in Boulder City is this way. We've got a situation with some great cons right now. The Brass of McCarran has ordered me to lock down the ruins until it's been resolved. One of my patrols was on its way back from Novak when it came under fire from the great cons. They radioed for reinforcements, but instead of waiting for us, they chased the cons into the ruins where they were caught in a crossfire. No deaths, but not all the squad got out. The cons have Private Ackerman and Private Gilbert as hostages. Once the great cons have been killed or captured, you're welcome to retrieve any property they've taken from you. Okay, you can even sneak in and, and take them out that way, or 
I'm gonna try and negotiate. Normally I'd turn you down since I have no idea who you are. But considering that the hostages are as good as dead when we attack. Alright. I'm going to give you a chance to talk to the Great Khans. Their leader is a man named Jessup. If we hear shooting, we'll be coming in. But it'll probably be too late for you. Good luck. Come on, I got a first recon sniper on my back. I'll be fine. Okay. Ruins of Boulder City. Alright. Great cons aren't hostile to me right now. Uh, there's a few of them around. A couple upstairs, one back there holding the prisoners hostage. What we need to do is come in here. What the hell? You're that courier Benny wasted back in Good Springs. You're supposed to be dead. I got better. And here I thought us great cons were tough to kill. So, what happens now? Don't have it. Benny stole it right before he stabbed us in the back. He's probably back at the strip by now laughing at me. What's to negotiate? The NCR backs off, we walk out of here, nobody gets hurt. I can't believe I'm doing this. But all right, the hostages can go. The NCR had better keep their end of the deal, though. Here, a souvenir for you. It's Benny's lighter. Shove it up his ass when you catch up with him. Eh, yeah, go on. And that's it. That's how simple it is. It, admittedly, if you don't want to forgive the great cons, that's fine, but uh, there's a couple of quest lines associated with them, and it's generally better to have them on your good side. Excuse me, Jessup. And there we go. Hostages are released. Let's go talk to the NCR commander. I'm glad you're able to get my people freed, but there's a new problem. I just got orders to take out the Great Cons, hostages or not. My hands are tied. I can't go against orders, can I? Well, this one gets me reputation with both Cons and NCR, so let's go go for it. You're right. The Great Cons are free to go. Yay! Yay! And quest completed. Woo! Okay, just a quick note. If you come back in after the cons leave, you, there's a couple of useful things they left behind. Mostly drugs, but there's also McMurphy over here. Who's wearing great con suit armor. Yes, looting corpses is, is bad, okay? But anyway. Yay, faction armor. Now dressed as a member of the Great Cons. Don't want to wear this everywhere, for one thing, because it's kind of crappy armor. But what's useful about it is that there's a couple of there's a couple of factions that there's a couple of factions that won't shoot at you if you're dressed like a Great Con, and a couple more that definitely will. Mostly the NCR. So. Yeah, don't wear great con armor everywhere. But maybe hang on to it for a disguise. And after leaving Boulder City, head over here towards the train station. Oh my, that person looks familiar. Fancy meeting you here, friend. Just rolling along on my spurs. Looks like I just might make it to New Vegas after all. Yep. Guess it's just down to you and Fancy Pants. I wouldn't worry about him. He looks all hat and no cattle, if you ask me. Look me up when you get to New Vegas. I'll buy the first round. 
Bye, Victor. Also, we're gonna loot this train station. There we go. And behind safe number one is... useful stuff, but nothing amazing. One last thing. Skeleton here with a hunting rifle. If you don't have one yet, this is where you get it. And that's it. Bye, Victor. That's all we're going to do do for today. Tomorrow we're going to head over there to that overpass, the 188 outpost, and, uh, well, not tomorrow, but next time. And, uh, that's it. See you next time, everybody.